So good morning, Jen. It's been six months since the mass shooting that took place here at Oxford High School. Now the difficult year wrapped up this Friday and now the local community here is joining hands together this morning at Sentinel Park along with a national group to highlight the need for gun reform. Over 400 people are expected to take part in today's peaceful march in Oxford. Originally organized by No Future Without Today, a group created by Oxford students to advocate for safer schools is being joined by a national group called March for Our Lives who are also holding rallies nationwide. Both groups are calling for safe gun storage law, red flag gun laws and universal background checks among others. We will be having speakers and a small sort of rally at Centennial Park and then we will be marching and walking up to the high school to have a moment of silence and then back down to conclude our march. According to Gun Violence Archive, this year more than 250 mass shootings have taken place across the country, of which 27 are school shootings, with Uvalde, Texas being the most recent in which 19 children and two teachers were killed. This week, House passed a package of bills focused on gun control, one of the provisions a direct response to the Oxford High School shooting. This isn't about whether someone gets to own a gun or not. It's about responsible gun ownership. Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin of Michigan proposed one of the bills that require the safe storage of guns and imposed a five-year prison sentence if a child uses an unsecured gun to commit crime. Meanwhile, Representative Lisa McLean from Michigan voted no on the package, arguing instead to harden school security and focus on mental health. We need to address the person. The person is the problem. The package now heads to the Senate, where a small group of bipartisan legislators are negotiating, putting a question mark on how much, if any, of the gun reform will make it through. Now back here at the march, which starts at 9.30 a.m. this morning, another controversy brews, and that's a threat of a counter rally by Second Amendment advocates. It was mentioned at Tuesday's Oxford Village Council meeting. However, the individual who made the claim later said it came from an emotional place and wasn't aware of a counter rally that's scheduled to take place here today. So far, we haven't seen any signs of one, but in the next 30 minutes, we'll be talking to someone from No Future Without Today as they highlight the need for gun reform. Jen, for now, it's back to you.